Hey, welcome back lads, so the final Cold War Zombies map has just been revealed, and yeah, it is simply called Forsaken, and we have an entire blog post that is revealing some stuff to us, like the wonder weapons and the story, there's gonna be a lot more teasers and stuff coming this week, so if you're new around here, subscribe, stay tuned in, and let's take our first look at Forsaken. Now, just like most of us expected, the map is dropping at the start of Season 6, which is only about, what, 8 days away, and they say that the map will provide the shocking conclusion to the Dark Aether story's opening chapter, and yeah, to be honest, with everything that's been set up, there is a lot of storyline goodness, like the Requiem director being Eddie Richtofen, Samantha Maxis, and everything that's going on with her, the Forsaken himself, you know, this devil-like creature, and how all of this is gonna like end in the downfall of the Soviet Union, rip bozo. So yeah, this map should be nothing short of a storyline madness. Now let's take a look at the new wonder weapon, which is some kind of ancient dark ether axe slash weapon. And yeah, it looks so damn cool. So I think it's made from Ethereum crystals and the name is in the top left hand corner. It's called the Chrysalax. Why does that sound like some medicine you take to make you shit? I don't know, but the axe looks real cool, and I guess crystal axe means, like, crystal axe. Wow, actual five head. But Treyarch also tweeted that it was forged in the pools of Aetheria, and there is two different forms, two different versions. I guess Aetheria is, like, some kind of ancient city in the Dark Aether, or, like, you know, kind of, like, stronghold or something. <laughs> the capital of the Dark Aether, I don't know. In the blog, they gave us a little story roundup, or what would you call it, like a synopsis of things we already know, there's nothing really new in there, but it's making me wonder, like, how is Samantha Max's superpowers, how are they gonna come into play in the map? I guess because she's not like a, a main playable character and the abilities are not like built into the gameplay, it will just be part of the main storyline quest or easter egg quest so yeah i don't know there's so much that needs to happen in this one last map to like finish up the story it kind of feels like that with both the zombie story and the like war zone seasonal stories like it doesn't feel like both of them are about to come to an end finally this is only the beginning there's a lot more teasers and stuff coming this week so keep an eye on treyarch's twitter and here on the channel you know they say that there should be the season 6 gameplay trailer and there should be a separate zombies trailer too and with season 6 coming just next week we should see it probably on thursday the trailer that is so yeah that's about it stay spicy and i'll see you in the next one cheers I remember a time here in the Dark Ether when the Forsaken did not even exist. When I first crossed over, things were very different. And back then, there were many powerful entities at war here, forming alliances, betraying each other. Not that I realized it at first. One by one, the Forsaken hunted them down consumed them, and made their power his own. The Forsaken imposed order upon the Dark Aether. Those who remained rallied to him, seeking his favor and pledging loyalty. This is a different place than when I arrived. It is infinitely more dangerous. <laughs>